Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Brad over here at Chattanooga Fishing Fun. Here at Fishing Fun, we sell Ranger boats and Lance truck campers. This is actually my second video of the day. Y'all don't know that because this is posted a week afterwards, but like I said last week, we've got pretty crappy weather coming in. Uh, so I'm going to take the driest day I have out of the next week to do this uh, 2021 Lance 650. The Lance 650 is designed to go in a, a half ton truck, which would be your Ford F-150 series, uh, five uh, five and a half to six and a half foot bed uh, your GMC Chevrolet Dodge Ram uh, 1500 series five and a half to six and a half foot beds and then your uh, also your imported bunny rabbit ears uh, trucks like your uh, Toyota Tundra your Nissan Titan five and a half foot uh, to six and a half foot beds uh, of course that's gonna be your newer model uh, larger uh, Titans and uh, Tundras but uh, anyways we'll move on got the TPO front nose cap it's like the same material as your front car bumper uh, doesn't chip crack anything like that it's supposed to be really durable and strong uh, we've got the Euro style dual pane windows that kick out I've got them open right now so we have some ambient lighting inside since I don't have a battery to light it up um, mountain scene graphics that's actually going to be a standard feature on the 2022 models uh, we've got all electric jacks around all four corners uh, here's our lance plug uh, this is lance's own wiring harness that they make for their campers it's thicker gauge it's not what comes with these truck packages on the newer trucks um, lance actually sends the truck side plug with it and we install that here for you I think I forgot to mention that this uh, 650 comes in weighing uh, about 1,700 pounds with standard equipment. Uh, the way this one's equipped is a little over 2,000 pounds. It's like 2,038 pounds. And these start out at $34,898 for your 2022 models. All right, also on this side, you're going to find our tankless water heater, which is now an option on all 2022 model truck campers. But yeah, this is just hot water on demand. You got your on off switch there and you turn it on inside and boom, you got hot water. Uh, this is where we fill our 22 gallon hot water tank. I'm, hot water, excuse me. I, I had this on my mind. Uh, 22 gallon fresh water tank. Use non-pressurized water. So what you do is just take your garden hose, put it in there, fill it up. When it's full, it'll kick out there. You can also keep uh, watch on it inside. outdoor shower for all my freaky people out there that like to shower outside or you can just rinse your feet off if you're at the beach or got mud on your boots or something 30 amp plug in all your campground connections are going to be on the driver's side and then underneath here somewhere right there we've got our uh, city water connection and our black water flush system definitely purchase two different hoses for that you don't want to drink out of the same hose you clean your poo tank out with got us a little bit of storage here uh, every bit of storage in a little truck camper matters so uh, insulated door hatches there's your little poo tank or beer can store and this is this is pretty pointless i don't know who designed this but i this is kind of laughable to have that right there with the awning. You gotta release your awning and move it out, out of the way every time to even access this door. They could have just left that like off. I don't understand that, but oh well. Uh, but like I said, all, all four corners will have an electric jack around. Uh, what you do if you ever run into an issue with uh, running your battery down or just need to crank one manually, You'll have to grow some fingernails real quick and pop this freaking tight cap off. And then you kick that switch down and then you're free to go. Get your manual crank out, get to cranking, pack a lunch. You'll be here a while. Or get you an adapter that fits there uh, and a drill. Make it a lot quicker. Or just don't let your battery go dead. All right, so like I said, we got this manual rear awning here. Um, 
if it's raining outside you can kick that out so you don't get soaking wet if there's a monsoon um, got our uh, parking satellite connection a couple AC plugs this is going to be our main dump station we got our black tank and our uh, gray tank the black tank is uh, 16 gallons and the gray tank is 15 gallons and then like I said your fresh water tank is going to be able to hold 22 gallons of fresh water capacity there then it all comes out right there and then make sure you do your black tank first and then flush it with the gray works a lot best a lot better excuse me all righty uh, we got our docking lights our patio lights all that's going to be standard for 2022 so you don't have to go through and manu manually select all that stuff uh, we're certified green so i guess we're good for the environment we got us a propane door here this is this is a booger right here to get out so you got to undo this butterfly nut scoot that out of the way manage to scoot this by without ripping this plastic piece off and there's a bracket in the back that you can't see i don't think you can see it but you have to make sure that it's tucked up underneath there too so these get these take a second to get used to i can do them now no issues um but <laughs> you're definitely going to be fooling around with these for a minute to get used to okay so on to the passenger side what i call the campground side we got us an automatic awning on this side it's got a led strip at the end of it lights it up at night so you can see each other uh, and then uh, it's got auto wind sensing added to it as well so it'll roll itself back in if it gets too windy outside got outdoor speakers so our neighbors can hear us jam out refrigerator maintenance door another patio light and oh just about forgot well i'll do this first all right so this one right here your external charge port is going to be over here on your uh, campground side in the front uh, this is what we use right here to run the jacks up and down and if the camper has slide outs we can also run the slide outs by hooking our jumper box up to this that's just an external charging port and then here in the back we've got us an external propane connection uh, for our external grills or anything else that would require propane all right let's go check out the inside okay so the windows make a huge difference on letting natural light in um, like I said, I don't have a battery installed in this one yet. This one goes out next Thursday. It is a sold camper, so that's why I don't have any lights on or anything like that. But uh, the what sun we do have out is uh, putting in some work on lighting up this camper. All right, so to the right, well, below here, we've got all of our external uh, light switches, left, right, rear. Those are two-way switches. Uh, down's going to be your white light. Up's going to be your orange light, and that's for the outside. Uh, you got your rear docking lights that's a white led light interior light when you walk in backup camera switch and where you charge your remote okay so this 2021 lance 650 has the platinum interior this is going to be your dinette this u uh, u-shaped style uh, when you lay it down it's going to be 32 inches by 76 inches um, so you can sleep a person on this dinette. It does make into a bed and it's pretty good size bed. So I may even do a video on that. All right, above you see all this netting. You can stow some stuff with you on the go uh, and that net's going to keep her there. Got a couple cabinets uh, for extra storage. Right here is where I get my weight. As you can see there, 2,186 pounds dry is uh 2038 pounds i mean no that okay so 2186 pounds wet and then 2038 pounds dry key ring good spot for it clock with no batteries um so i have a lot of people that complain about these windows for some reason letting in bugs if you don't want no bugs in just run that down it's really not that hard pretty simple process um, so you do have day shades and night shades you just run that back up if you want let everything in and then there's your night shade 
So like I said, it's not really that hard of a process. I'm holding the camera in my hand and running these up and down with the others, so. Magazine rack for anybody that reads magazines still. Another little cabinet for storage. All right, so here's our fridge. And some, some people don't like the fridge placement. I don't know. It keeps your beer close at night. You don't have to get up and grab it. Um, but for everybody that doesn't like it, I'll just let you take a peek around and tell me where else you're going to put it. Well, we're not going to put it here. That's where the dinette's at. We're not going to put it there. That's where the microwave is. Oh, stove. And then our bathroom's over here. So really the only place you can put it's right here in the bed. Uh, it doesn't bother me literally all you got to do lift up boom you got it that is a three-way fridge it runs on gas um, AC and DC got some shelf space right beside it here a little closet with a clothes rod in it AC outlet over here um, on this countertop Anybody with a CPAP machine, you can hook in right there. Some reading lamps. A little vent to help it air out in here. Another little kick out to add in some natural air. A TV that you can see from the bed or swing it out. And you can see it from the dinette as well. Now I've actually got a great idea for this. So, say you got the game on, it's football season. All right, you're outside. Watch this. You outside, you got your awning out. You got your external grill plugged into that propane source. You got these speakers right here. You can hear the TV through the speakers and you got the game on. You can sit here and grill and watch that TV. You don't miss a beat. That was a genius design right there if you ask me. All right, we got a radio. You can download an app for this uh, for your phone. Uh, play your radio through your phone, control it through your phone, whatever you want to do. You got zones you can control to play through the bed speakers, the dinette speakers, or zone C, the outside speakers. Got a couple more AC outlets, a DC outlet with some USB plug-ins. All right, so this is going to be our kitchen area. Let me get my microfiber out of the way. I was cleaning, hard to believe, but I was. All right, so we got us a cabinet for some uh, little storage. You can put some pots and pans, towels, Doritos, Capri Suns, all that good stuff in there. A little standard size microwave. Uh, sink got us a two burner stove top here uh, below that that's where your uh, maintenance door is for your tankless water heater pretty easy to get to I like that a couple pull out doors here that are non slam so, uh, this right here this is for a solar panel this tells us how much how many volts are going to our batteries and uh, charge level good stuff like that this is where we control the power uh, the power awning on the side here uh, awning light for it as long as you leave the power on to it you're going to have uh, power in it if it gets too windy it'll roll itself back in all right so here is our tankless water heater set up just kick it on set it to what degree you want and it does the rest water pump Turn our water pump on if we're pulling from our fresh water tank. Uh, battery level, this is where we check it. It'll either show empty, a third, two thirds, or full. Fresh water tank, black water tank, gray water tank. And again, this was uh, 22 gallon fresh water, 16 gallon black, 15 gallon gray. This is where we control our AC unit. We have the 10K low profile wall controlled Dometic AC unit here. You control your fan on low or high, uh, AC, or your furnace, all off of this right here. Use these little dials, dials right here to set what temperature you want. Here's our AC unit right here. 
plenty of head space. I believe we got like 81 inches of um, interior height in here. So in no way, shape or form am I about to hit my head on nothing. So unless I go to walk out the door and then right here, that's where you want to duck if you're six foot, six foot one or more. All right. Oh yeah, gotta show you the bathroom, nearly forgot. So even in a 150 series truck, you can still get a bathroom in a camper, truck bed camper. This does have the shower and toilet feature. This is called a wet bath since you're sharing the toilet with the shower. It's not real roomy, but I mean, this is going in the back of your truck. You got like a five, five and a half foot to six and a half foot bed. You got a can't be really picky. But there's your shower head. So like I said, you got you got a shower head, you got a sink, you got a toilet, you got a kitchen, you got a place to sleep, TV, refrigerator, and a dinette. Can't really complain. Okay, everybody, that completes the tour of the 2021 Lance 650. I should be getting some 2022 models here pretty soon. Um, so keep an eye out for those. Uh, you can like this video, let YouTube know that I might know what I'm talking about, might be enjoyable to watch, something like that. Um, if you have any questions, comment below. I'll be happy to answer them. I try to get to everybody, so if I don't answer you immediately, I will get to you at some point or another, I hope. Um, what, what else? If you want to see more videos like this, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Um, hit the notification bell, let you know when I update and post another video. Um, shoot if you want a camper and you want it by springtime of next year for 2022 you need to order now we're in october we're about five to six months out right now so definitely if you want a camper for next year uh, next springtime anyways the following camping season get your orders in now give me a call at 423-892-6272 my name's brad i'm over here at chattanooga fishing fund um but these the 650s they start out at $34,898 and then if you want to add some custom stuff to it the uh, price goes up so uh, we'll treat you fair on price get your orders in give me a call if you have any questions I'll go over all that with you um, but again this was 2021 Lance 650 it's the lightest and the smallest option of the truck camper lineup uh, they start out at 1700 pounds this one the way it's equipped if you liked all the features you're looking at 2038 pounds dry Okay, I think I'm done running my mouth now. Um, Y'all take care, stay safe, and I'll see you on the next video.